Hello, folks, and welcome to the Entertainment Log. Today, we highlight the 1988 crime film, Colors. Colors is a 1988 American police procedural action crime film starring Sean Penn and Robert Duvall and directed by Dennis Hopper. The film takes place in the gang-ridden neighborhoods of Los Angeles, late 1980s South Central Los Angeles, Echo Park, West Lake, and East Los Angeles. The film centers on Bob Hodges, an experienced Los Angeles Police Department crash officer and his rookie partner, Danny McGavin, who try to stop the gang violence between the Bloods, the Crips, and the Hispanic street gangs. Colors relaunched Hopper as a director 19 years after Easy Rider and inspired discussion over its depiction of gang life and gang violence. Two policemen, Uncle Bob Hodges, a respected LAPD officer and Vietnam veteran, and rookie officer Danny McGavin have just been teamed together in the crash unit that patrols Northwest LA, East LA, and South Central LA. The older cop is appreciated on the local streets. He is diplomatic on the surface, preaching rapport to gang members to encourage them to offer help when it is truly needed. Hodges recognizes that every action cops take is scrutinized by the people they are trying to help. Hodges explains his view on policing to his young partner with a joke about bulls and cows. Although the pair bond quickly, life lessons are seemingly lost on the aggressive Cavalier McGavin, whose stunts soon bring him notoriety among the game members and the people, such as attacking a graffiti artist by spraying his eyes with the paint can. McGavin wrecks their first unmarked car during a pursuit. Its replacement is Vivid Yellow, resulting in McGavin being nicknamed Pac-Man by officers and gang members alike. McGavin has a short-lived romance with a waitress named Louisa, who, like the offended Hodges, feels the weight of the Pac-Man persona. Amidst the strain of these relationships, the murder of a Bloods gang member escalates tension between two other street gangs. A series of seemingly random incidents culminates with the two partners in the middle of the Crips, Bloods, and Hispanic Burial War. The 21st Street Gang, led by a criminal named Frog, attempts to negotiate a peace similar to Hodges and steer clear of the melee. To protect his partner, Hodges unwittingly exposes Frog as his source on the Crips leader, Rocket's scheme to kill McGavin. Each group attempts to right the wrongs against their respective crews as police strive to prevent the hit and stand their authority over the fallout. In the end, the unit moves in on the would-be last crew standing, the 21st Street Gang. While arresting Frog, Hodges is fatally wounded by a 21st Street Gang gunman, nicknamed Bird, trying to do the hit on McGavin. With medics en route, McGavin comforts Hodges and breaks down with regret as the elder partner falls into delirium and dies. Sometime later, a more reserved McGavin has a rookie partner, a black cop who grew up in the neighborhood where they patrol and sports an attitude like the Pac-Man. McGavin tells him the same joke about the bolt that Hodges taught him, and the younger officer reciprocates in the same way as the young McGavin. The film ends with McGavin considering the cycle as the pair drive on and continue their patrol. The movie was filmed entirely in Los Angeles in 1987. The original script by Richard DeLello took place in Chicago and was more about drug dealing than gang members. Dennis Hopper ordered changes, so Michael Schiffer was hired and the setting was changed to Los Angeles and the focus of the story became more about the world of gang members. The joke that Hodges tells McGavin regarding the two bulls was lifted from the Pat Conroy novel, The Great Santini, which was made into a movie that also starred Robert Duvall, and explains how the character Lieutenant Colonel Bull Meacham got his nickname. Real gang members were hired as on-location security, as well as actors and extras by producer Robert H. Solo. Two of them were shot during filming. On April 2nd, 1987, Sean Penn was arrested for punching an extra on the set of this film, who was taking photos of him without permission. Penn was sentenced to 33 days in jail for this assault. Colors earned over $46 million in its domestic release. Colors received both praise and criticism. The film has a 77% rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 39 reviews, with the consensus Colors takes a hard-hitting yet nuanced look at urban gang violence, further elevated by strong performances from a pair of well-matched leads. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, 
assigned the film a score of 66 out of 100 based on 15 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Janet Maslin of the New York Times stated that it has a superb eye for the poisonous flowering of gang culture amid ghetto life and an ear to match. Along with brilliant cinematography by Haskell Wexler, it's also got a fierce, rollicking sense of motion. Roger Ebert hailed it as a special movie, not just a police thriller, but a movie that has researched gangs and given some thought to what it wants to say about them. The Washington Post's critics, Dasan Howe and Hal Henson were split, with Howe stating that Hopper covers the mayhem with unadorned documentary immediacy that transcends otherwise formulaic cop fare, and Henson stating that it must be the least incendiary film about gang life ever made. One of the more negative reviews of the film appeared on the BBC's CFAX service, on which critic Louise Hart remarked, the main weakness of the film is that it concentrates far less on the street gangs than on the growing relationship between the two cops. The film has been blamed for inspiring gang violence in the country of Belize, with many members of the Crips and Bloods deported to the country from the United States in the 1990s, bringing the film and their own gang affiliations with them to the country. The information brought to you in this video has been provided by Wikipedia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Entertainment Log.